Lottie Gang, excuse my surroundings and excuse my face. I'm kind of tired today. I'm in the middle of recording my prep for preseason series. If that's not up already when you're watching this, just wait. It should be up in about a week. If it's up already, go check that out. You know what I'm saying? So in this video, I actually forgot to do an intro, but basically this is the situation. At this moment in time, I just finished my rookie season in the TBL. I had a great experience playing for the Lehigh Valley Legends, but now I've been out of season for about four months roughly, and I'm getting ready for the combines for the BSL, which is kind of the expansion league of the TBL, strictly Canadian based, but it's higher pay, higher level of play, Y'all know I'm trying to get into that. So for the last couple of months, a few weeks at a time, they've been having a combine tour for the TBL and BSL. My goal going into this combine was to get on the BSL team's radar. That way, when the draft combine on the 18th and 19th of November comes up, I already kind of have a relationship with those team market owners and they know to keep an eye out for me at the draft. That's a different video in itself, but it's extremely similar to how the TBL combine went, which led to me playing for the Lehigh Valley Legends for my rookie season. So now for this video, not only am I gonna be showing you the combine itself, but I'm also gonna be showing you how I prepped for the combine too. Not a full week series, but rather the days leading up to it, really just the day before after I drove all the way down to Atlanta and then the morning of the combine itself. And then I even have some feedback from the coaches that were there. Overall, it was a great experience and I wanna share this with you guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and make sure you have the notifications on and don't be afraid to comment what other type of content y'all wanna see on the page. But please stop asking me to do one-on-ones with other creators. At this point in time, that is not my main focus. I'm trying to further my professional basketball career. Maybe next all season, I'll have more time for those types of videos on a regular basis. But for now, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Big Lottie Gang, throw the fours up in the chat. Run it! All right, y'all, we finally made it. Now it's time to go check in. It's hella nice in here. Was it open for you already in there? Checking in for Brandon Bilotti. And they got free breakfast. I'm about to get my grub on tomorrow. It's clean in here. Smell nice. Oh, it's nothing too crazy. It's like a little studio apartment in here. Put some of my stuff down, but I, I always get hyped just when my hotel room got a microwave, but a full-size fridge too, and a, a little stove, all right. Casting couch. I'm just playing, cut that, cut that. <laughs> you can low-key always tell how nice the hotel is by the bathroom too. It's, it's nothing too fancy, but like, it's clean. Smell nice in here. They provide soaps. Let me turn on the light fan kind of loud but i could give this hotel probably like a, a solid little solid little seven and a half debatably eight out of ten i think what's gonna make it an eight or not is that breakfast tomorrow but all right y'all now we fresh off the road i'm about to get slightly unpacked get ready for the gym and rest up for about the next hour before i go for my workout and my boy Eben is pulling up he's staying with me for the weekend that's right are you Squidward? Are you Squidward? That's okay, take your time. All right, all right, all right. I forget, I didn't forget. Don't do me like that. Ah, don't play with me like this. It just dawned on me as I was walking out the hotel. Why don't we go see what the hotel gym looking like? So we got four dumbbells, two benches, and three pieces of cardio equipment, a scale, some yoga mats, and three mirrors. The fact that there's almost as many mirrors as dumbbells in here, that should let you know right now. This is trash, we out of here. This hotel is officially a seven. Put your seatbelt on, please. Yo. This LA Fitness was only about six minutes away from the hotel. Right, we got some backward sled pulls. Some of that knee pain away. We going light today. Four plates is enough. I wanted to get a light full body workout in the day, kind of getting the blood flowing after a long drive and making sure I wasn't fatigued for tomorrow. They definitely gonna say in the comment section, you need to be on the football field. <laughs> Gotta make sure the springs is ready to go for tomorrow. Let's work these hamstrings a little bit. This isn't one of those workouts where I'm pushing my limits in the weight room. I'm literally just shaking off the fatigue of the drive and getting my blood flowing so I could be ready for tomorrow. And my boy Evan decided to tag along for our first workout together since college. That was cool. These isometric holds on the leg extension, three sets of 15 seconds. Starting to sweat a little bit. Time to take the hoodie off. And now, going into these lunges with the isometric hold while we hold the lunge. We're gonna pair it with hammer curls. I'm doing one exercise with each plate. Keeping the weight extremely light, I started off with a full depth squat to make sure that my knees was feeling all right. Then I moved into some rack cleans to make sure my body was feeling explosive. And yes, it was. 
Then I did some weighted jump squats to make sure that we was feeling bouncy for tomorrow. And finished off with some overhead squats to make sure that my posterior chain was feeling strong for tomorrow. If you really want to know how connected your body is from head to toe, try these out. Knocked out some core because you know we can't neglect that. It's the foundation of what keeps us explosive. And I ain't gonna lie, here I was just knocking these out because I was feeling myself a little bit, but my upper back and shoulders was feeling good after this. I can't lie. Ugh. Let's get it. Bro's calves are monstrous. Y'all see this? <laughs> did not have to smack it. Don't do that, don't do that again. Don't do that. You don't think I could do 300? That's not what I said. You motherfucker. You, have... you know, how, how high did that motherfucker go? Watch out, watch out. We, we knocking out 300. We knocking out 300. Straight like that. You know why? Because we built fucking different. Just remember, you got money to make more. Shit. 300 ain't shit. You know what? <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, you know what? Maybe, maybe a solid, we should just go with like closest to body weight. So like 225 should be good. Y'all know on any other day I would have crushed that 300, but for now we just trying to make sure our ankles feel good for tomorrow. Then we finished the day by hitting the court and getting some shots up. I wanted to make sure every aspect of my game was sharp enough for the next day because you never know what type of position you end up in in these combines. I want to be able to put my full versatility on display. When you combine versatility with being in shape, there's more and more opportunities for you. Not to mention when prepping for these combines, you have to understand that everybody is trying to put their offensive skills on display, especially scoring. And you don't get to choose your teammates, so it's extremely likely that you run into people who try to put up as many shots as they can limiting opportunities for other people that only makes them look bad in the process but you'll see one of the coaches at the end of the video explain how he pays more attention to tendencies than the actual result of the play so you look even better when you show you can knock down shots with limited opportunities and my boy wanted to show me that he was still bouncy for the one time and you know i had to follow that up with something of my own not only was we feeling good but i was feeling like i was looking good too and then after all that you knew we wasn't gonna get out of here without getting a good stretch in. i don't really have much to say during this part of the video i'm gonna allow everybody to see the full stretch routine but if you don't feel like watching all that i understand you could just skip ahead All right, y'all, it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm feeling well rested, and y'all already know, it's game day. Oh, hold on, let me put some clothes on. All right, y'all, let's throw on half of the drip for today and go get some breakfast. Just real quick. Yeah. All right, y'all, now we're ready to head out to the gym. First workout before the combine. Before y'all start tweaking out, I know what you're thinking. For my young hoopers who don't know yet, there's more to getting ready for a game than just going to the gym 30 minutes before tip off to go through layup lines. So throughout this workout, we're gonna be focusing on movements to get our body ready for today. I can already hear some of y'all in the comment section, lifting weights before the game is crazy. This isn't the type of lift where I'm maxing out trying to get as strong as possible. Think of this as final checks and tune-ups before the race. I kept the weight extremely light and focused strictly on mobility to make sure that my body was ready to go for today. Think of it as the final tune-up before a big race. The game is full of different angles and we're not just talking about spacing on the court. I see guys can tort their bodies in the air all the time. <laughs> see, that wasn't too bad. And you know afterwards I got my shots up so I could feel good going into the games today. Good sweat, feeling good, feeling confident for today. Woo. And now it's game time. 
Big Lottie Gang, the time has come. Nothing else to talk about, man. And shout out to Nocta for looking out with the whole fit. You know what I'm saying? We got the Nocta glides going in. Full Nocta sweatsuit. Root to the good, bros. You know what I'm saying? Got to represent. Let's go get this money. Y'all know we got to let them know we rocking the merch. Go cop that. Link in the description. How you doing, sir? Through the doors. We're gonna see what this combine is talking about. There's gonna be a smaller crowd because it's a smaller group of just working out in front of teams. Last year I got picked up in the draft and the draft combine was stacked. The reason I'm doing this, I already played in the TBL. I'm actually doing this for the purpose of working out in front of the BSL teams. So now I still got everything that I've had last season. I don't know why I felt the need to do that because I'm only a couple months removed, but <laughs> let's show them what we do. So I've been corrected. This is actually a tryout. You know what? I'm giving out a lot of free clout for this video. I'm going to need some of these companies to start sponsoring me. Because we got the .3 shorts on for today. I like these. These is hard. We're not from here. We built different. From a different world. Saw me in the way of wage for all of my workouts leading up. Nah. We're pulling out the Westbrooks for game day. And they don't sponsor me anymore because my contract is up. We still rocking the victory insoles. Like, I've never endorsed a product that I don't actually use. Come on now. About to go through a warm up for today. A little dynamic warm up, real quick. This is where the owner of the league talks to everybody participating in the combine. Gives them the rundown, lets them know how the league is run, and even gives insight on how to succeed in this combine. If you're interested to learn more, keep watching. How you doing? I didn't know you was coming to this. Look at you. Why not? Player. <laughs> we'll, we, will, we will register you. Um, after you get registered, uh, uh, Prescott Mac, uh, P right here, go to him to get a photo taken. I give you an application to fill out. Don't worry about the, the, the wingspan, the stand and reach, the vertical jump, all that stuff, because we're not testing for that. Just You just sign it and, um, and we it. get ready to go. Uh, after we get through the, the, the registration part, we'll get up and down the court, we'll stretch out a little bit, and then we'll do some full court drills, a couple half court shooting drills, and then we go to play. So we're gonna play uh, you know, as much of the of three, three plus hours as we can so guys start cramping up. We want to give you as much burn as you possibly can to see what you got. And, and the way we work it is, you know, let, let, let's say, let's say I'm, I'm, the, I'm the best shooter in the gym because I am the best shooter in the gym. Um, and, and I come down the court and, and my man here, he going eh, eh, every time down the court. Well, after about an hour, I'm getting pissed at this dude. I'm like, look, man, you got to give up the ball. I spent money, flew in from Indiana, and all I do is get to watch you dribble. After about two hours, I'm getting pissed at this dude because I let you play the whole time doing that. So about every hour, we change the teams and say, Jude here is a pass first guy. He's going to get me the ball. Great. Maybe the third hour, I'll be the point guard because the truth of the matter is, is everybody here is positionless. We don't have numbers anymore. Oh, man, I'm a one. No, you be a player. Be a basketball player. Don't worry if you got five little guys on your team or five big guys. You just got to show you can play because if you can play, then we'll fit you in where, you, where you're going to go and then we're going to get you some play. We're looking for two leagues now. We're not just looking for, for TBL. We're looking for TBL and BSL. BSL is a higher, little bit higher level. Pay a little bit more, longer season. You know, we got television contract for it. Twice a month, twice a week, we'll be on games of the week. It's pretty good. It's like going to mid-level Europe or higher. Mm -hmm. 1,500 to 10 grand a month there. That's a pretty good opportunity. So we're giving everybody a chance. We don't care about your size. We don't care if you're big or small, but do something special. Because when you get the reviews from me, they'll say, you know, like I'll tell you at the end, if, if, if Brandon didn't, didn't get picked, uh, tell me, give me about a week and I'll tell you how you did. 
The only thing I ask you is don't ask me questions you don't want answers to. Because I don't want Brandon saying, yo, man, I think I'm better than that. Well, then don't ask me. If you're better than that, you would have made it. If you didn't, you didn't. So this is what you got to work on. Thanks. I've had guys go work on it, get better, and come back to the next one and, and get picked up. Because we're looking for certain things. We're looking for guys that when you're small, can you be disruptive? Will you pick up full court? Will you make things where you guys make miserable? Will you be disruptive? Disruptive on defense means, man, damn, I noticed that kid because he made the game hard for somebody. If you can shoot, can you catch and shoot? Nothing against all the trainers in the world that work around nothing but cones, but ain't no cone able to guard nobody. If you're open, shoot them thing. So I don't need you coming down and showing me what you got here. I want you, can you really shoot it? Because in my mindset, I want two guys that can go to the corners and spread the court so that my guys can do work. And if everybody wants to do work, then two guys can guard five. We got to be able to spread the court and make the game easier. I'm looking, will you listen? Will you be a pro? Will you? The ownership groups that'll be there, there'll be four or five ownership groups that'll be here. Will you go up and introduce yourself to people? Who you are? You? Where are you from? Tell them where you live. L learn a little bit. Tell them where you play. Does it matter that you play D1? Not really. But if you didn't play at all, don't care. We have we've had guys make it. Now we have guys. I got a guy in Japan right now making, I don't know, probably making 150, 200 a year, and he's a D3 kid. Bad. He's 6'6", six, six, highest jumping dude I've ever seen. And I, and I came out of the draft with, with, with Dominique. I never seen nobody jump like this dude. Quick off the ground. He was, but, you know, he was 6'6". He was, he was six, six. What's up, big fun? Yeah. Um, and, and they, and they it just so we don't know, we don't care about your resume. We don't care what your background is. We don't care that you played. We don't care where you played in the, around the world. This, these are the equalizing events that we have. You know, it's an event that's designed to see what you got. If you got something special, we'll, we'll find you. And we'll, and, we'll, and we'll put you where you want to go. Anything you want to add, Prescott? Do what you do well. Don't, if, you, if you've been working on your left hand, this ain't the place to work on it. <laughs> if you go right, go right here. So do what you do well here um, and put your best foot forward. I had, I had a kid one year, I was a high school coach in Florida. And we were, uh, Florida Gulf Coast had just become D2. So it was the first time they could get scholarships. So I figured I'd take some of my guys down to Florida Gulf Coast. And I had a 6'6 six, six white dude with like a 6'9 wingspan, which was rare to see somebody that long like that. And he had, he had a really, he was skinny fat, right? If he took his shirt off, he had a little belly, but you couldn't tell with the shirt off. So I said, bro, when we go down there, tell him you got a body rash, you can't take the shirt off. Because that's not a good look. And he couldn't shoot threes at all, but he could he dominate on the glass. So whatever you do, don't shoot a three. If, if they're, they're making you shoot threes in the drill, tell them your arm hurts, you got to shoot a little closer so you can show what you got. I go to introduce myself to the coach. I turn around, he's got his shirt off, and he's jacking threes. And the coach said, who's the kid with body by hostess shooting bad threes? Man, he said, should have gone in the car. We're done. And nothing I could do with you at that point because you showed everything that was bad right out the gate. So hide what you got that's not good. You know, if you're not a great shooter, don't take bad shots. But if you're disruptive on defense, if you can, if you can, if you block shots, if you're bigger and you can run, man, run. It doesn't matter. I mean, this dude can really run. It doesn't matter whether or not he does anything with it. It's just we're going to notice, man, he runs so fast up and down the court. I find a home for him. That's how it works. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So what we'll do is we'll sit here. I'll give you a number, and, and we might run out of jerseys. If we do, we got some extra ones. And if you don't get one of the original ones, I'll send them to you. We'll figure it out. But we're, uh, we're expecting a good day. We're going to go long and hard, and then we'll have the experience we want. Just come through here. I'll give you your jersey. I'll write the number on it. Fill it out. Get the photo with Prescott and bring the, jersey, bring the paper back, all right? I'll take the photo over there at that black curtain, that pipe and drape over there. Back in the corner, all right? Bring it in. Let's get it. I'll work on three. One, two, three. Hard right. work. Got to fill out the info real quick. Let's go, bro. Yup. What's good with you, G? How you doing? Brandon Bellotti, nice yeah, to meet you. Nice I'ma circle back around after after I fill this out. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm known around these parts. Kinda not really, kinda not really. <laughs> not really. Let's go ahead and fill this out. Last name ever, first name most mid. First name underrated. <laughs> School, Elizabeth City State University. Y'all already know the vibes, I went to HBCU. What's your name, LaCobe Jordan? LaCobe? Come on now, it's La Caruso. God, don't disrespect me. Had the XL jersey. He looked at me and said, nah fam, you're not getting the medium. I didn't even ask for the medium, I asked for the large. He was like, you're not getting that either, pause. So let's see what this XL is looking like. Shout out to Better Brand. Sponsor me. 
Uh, oh God. No, don't tell me the XL fit. Yeah, the XL kind of fits. Not like an early 2000s type of fit, but, huh. Oh yeah, I could definitely work out in this. Ah, oh, come on. You know what? I ain't got no grip on here and I know exactly how to fix it. Now this isn't a sponsored video. They do not sponsor me. I'm actually gonna give y'all my honest review of Grip Spritz. Shout out to Grip Spritz for sending me the package. Pause. But like I told y'all, I'm gonna be brutally honest. Okay, they sent a little towel pouch along with two bottles of the actual solvent. They say it's not like hand sanitizer and it's not adhesive. A lot of times when you're on the sticky pad, all you're doing is putting more adhesive on your shoes that gives you temporary grip, but you're picking up more and more dirt while you're on the court. So on the other hand, they say it's safe to use on hands too. So we're gonna see. And then they say wipe it with any cotton towel. I'm gonna use the one that they sent me. Time I'm recording this. Oh, hold on. Y'all hear that? We might have a W product. See how long it lasts. They say it's supposed to last for a whole game. So I'm gonna give it 40 minutes. Just making sure that I stay warm while everybody is registering. We're actually getting ready to go into drills in a few minutes. I didn't think the rim was gonna break away. I'm not gonna lie to you. Feeling good. There we go. All right, legs feeling warm. I'm about, to, I'm about to see what we got. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Shooting from the high school line. Bugging. Good. I'm not gonna get too crazy, but one more. So since everybody was so spread out, we couldn't get a clean shot of all the drills, but this is just a flash of some of what we did. Three man weave and three on two, two on one. Right after that, he broke us up into teams and then it was game time. The only thing that I didn't like about this combine is that there were no referees, including when the game started. On one hand, it's a more raw version of how everybody truly plays. On the other hand, you'll see how sloppy these games can get. Keep it. Come up, come up, come up. Come up. Yup, yup, yup. Come out, come out, pop out, pop out, pop out. There you go. That's tough. Pick up, let's go. Who's on ball, who's on ball? That's me, that's me. I'm here, I'm here. Talk to me, I'm in your gap. Right side, right side, screen. I'm through, I'm through. Yup. Right. Yup, I'm left, left side. I'm your help, I'm your help. Hey, hey. Yup, 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 yup. I'm here, I'm here. Shots up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, we out, go, go, go. Flash it, flash it. Flash it. Come here. Come here. Hey, good pass. We back. Yup, I'm here. I'm on your left. You will help. I'm through. Ah. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Hey. Yup. Yup. We out, go. Carolyn, nobody? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yup, I'm back. Stay up. Oh. 
Grab it. Ah! Yup. Whoa. Still. Come on now. I'm on, bro. Butterfingers. We Watch right, come. We can switch. Can switch. All right. I'm on. There you go. That's a tough take. Turn around. I'm on, bro. Move. Move. Yep, yep. There we go. Get up. We out. Go. Yes, sir. I'm in your gap. Right side. Stay up. Shots up. We out. Go. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Ah. Oh. We got to get back. No, you good. You good. Come on, come on, come on, switch. Uh -huh. Yup, yup. Uh -huh. Shit. Oh. 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 Ah. And why? Hey. Hey, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. First game down. I'm not going to lie. I got to get back in better shape. I caught myself being stagnant too much. There's a lack of structure for right now, but all it does is show your raw talent. I gotta be better. Come on, ball. Yup. Nope, 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 nope. And he traveled, get on it. Ain't no rush, get over. We out. There we go. Yeah, I can't let you rebound. There we go. Let's go. Pick up. I got low. Left. Yep. Thank you. Get off me. Ah. Oh. We back. Let's go. We out. There we go. Go to work. Hey, there we go. There we go. There we go. I'm back. I'm help, middle. Get on it. Yup. I see it, I see it. Screen, go on there. Yup. Go on there. Shots up. Yours. Woo! Hey, ah! Hey, hey, ah! What the fuck? Go! There we go. Good take. Uh. Go! Yup, yup! Boom! Dime! Yes, sir! Yup, shots up! There we go. Stay ball. I'm opposite. Shots up. 
Kelly. Hey, hey. Oh! Oh shit. He's helping. Yup, yup. Good move. Who's here? Who's here? Yup, yup. Shots up. I see you. Hey, come off this. Come here. Oh, good dive. Oh my God. Hell no. Yo, who's here? I'm on your right. Screen, go under. There we go. Hey! Shots up. I made that right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Cats in a cramp. Dear Lord. No, no cat. Bro, I wanted to punch that last one. Caught a cramp in my quad. Oh God. <laughs> hey man, it's kill or be killed, my boy. Y'all know how it go. But I'm just a TikTok hooper though. I'm just, I'm just an influencer. I don't really hoop for real though. They got a sub. Yup. I'm in your gap. Right side. Right side. Bring him here, bring him here, you gotta help middle. Shots up! Feed him, feed him, come here. Ah! Sorry, sorry, lady. You good, that's on me too, that's on me too. Check up. Are we playing, are we playing this? Yeah. I'm on your right. I'm on your right. Shots up. Oh! That's it. Hey! Woo. Let's go. Pick up ball. Yup, I'm on your right. I'm on your right. Shots up. Space it. See him. Damn. Huh. There we go. Space it. Come here. Ah. Hey. Oh, it's ours. Go. Come here. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, go. Yup. Hey! Oh my God. Yup. I'm here, left side. Yup. Go. Finish it. Thank you. I'm on your left. I'm on your left. Hey. Go! My bad. Stay in! Ah! Get back! Stop ball! Shots up! Grab that! Trailer! Yup! Okay! I'm on your right! Shots up! Hey! Hey! Oh, shit. Go! Charlie! Nobody! Nobody! Good shot! Boom! Good shot, good shot! I'm on your right! Get through! Give me that! 
Feel them. They're not talking. They're not talking. Come over. Woo! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Stay up, stay up. Yup, yup, I'm on your right. Shots up. That's your board. Trailing you. Yeah, yeah, nobody. Come on. Good take. Yes, sir. Good space, good space. I'm right side. 58 cutting. Shots up. I'm over. Oh! Fuck. Oh. Oh. We don't have one. We don't have one. Yeah. Come on. Go out. Go to work. There we go. Yo, yo. I see him. Shots up. Come up. Look at him. Look at him. One more. Oh. Shit. Not yet. Not yet. We're going to go at eight. Go at eight. Hey. Go corner. Go corner. Now. Come here. One more. You good, you good. Alright, bro hit me in my stomach. I was holding that in for the last two minutes. <sighs> Another day at the office. I ain't gonna lie though. Bro, I got hit in, that, in the stomach on that last one. I ain't no bitch. I ain't mean to take a charge. I was really just trying to wall up, but I got hit. Low stomach. Oh. Alright y'all, so the end of the combine didn't necessarily go as planned. I wound up catching a cramp in my, oh my right God. leg, and I tried to play through Peace. it, and then my left leg started cramping. Bro. However, y'all saw the clips, we put on a show, we impressed the teams that was here, good things came from it. So I'm here with Prescott Mack, owner of Coastal Georgia Buccaneers and the Texas Sevens. So as a team market owner, you've been to these combines and tryouts a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. What is the main thing? that you would look for when it comes to how these uh, trials and combines go? In the scope of like the actual game. So combines, you know, of course, can get sloppy, you can get lack of spacing. So sometimes I'm looking at stuff that doesn't, that you know, players don't even understand that we're looking at. Like in the league, we play defensive three seconds. So I'm looking at who gets a defensive player that's sitting in the paint. Or, or could this kid get to the paint if this player was on I'm looking at what could happen, not what actually is happening. When they shoot a three, if they're shooting at the high school line, because we don't have the NBA lines out, it's like that's a, that's a long two, that's a mid -range. Um, I'm looking at spacing. Are they spacing in with this NBA? I mean, with this high school line? Or are they spacing in the NBA type spacing? So just different things like that. Like, I don't care about if the ball is going through the hole. So it's more about tendencies rather than the actual result of every play. Yeah, tendencies and IQ is probably the main thing we're looking at. And then we're looking at when they come off the court. Say love. When they come off the court, are they, how are they talking? Are they talking about, are they complaining? Like, man, this is just crazy. This is just And nothing is their fault. Or are they coming off like, hey, let's do this, make an adjustment so that the next game, you know, they're going to win or trying to put everybody in a good position to, to be successful. It's, it's all about um, things that 
don't have anything to do with that. I am full, full transparency for everybody in the home. As a personal question, what were three things that you liked about my game today and three or and two things that you might want to fix? Uh, three things is you're vocal. Um, you do understand space because you played in this league before. And of course your athleticism is great. Um, and then two, two things is I would kiss you. Oh, good take. Yeah, you more minutes are allotted that way, right? Yeah, you, you take yourself to another tax bracket at that point because overseas, you can like six four, you're not, you're not anything else, but you'll be a one or a two. And so, with your athleticism and your style of play, which is kind of three and deep, if you turn yourself into a point guard or a primary ball handler, you you become a Euro League Champions League overseas type of player. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm just a TikTok hooper though. Overall, W Combine. I appreciate everybody for watching this video. If you're still here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Got another Combine in about two weeks. Let me know if I should do this for that too, you know what I'm saying? But till next time, y'all know the vibes for me. It's peace, love, and happiness to everybody. Continue to stay safe. Big Lottie Gang, fours up. We out.